For the Tangent on Veritas Catholic Network, I'm Father Sam Kachuba with your daily gospel reflection. Our gospel today is from Luke chapter 11, verse 29 through 32. And in this gospel, Jesus is speaking very, very bluntly. He's telling the people that you've seen Jonah. You've seen these great moments of conversion. You've seen people who have repented. But you, you're listening to me and, and you're not changing. Nothing's happening. It'll be easier. It'll be easier for Nineveh. In fact, Nineveh is going to rise up and condemn you. The Queen of the South is going to rise up and condemn you. Because at the preaching of the Son of Man, nothing has happened. There's something greater than Jonah here. There's something greater than every prophet here. And you, you haven't recognized it. It might seem kind of harsh, but let's just apply it to ourselves for a moment. How many times have you been to Mass? How many times have you been to confession? How many times at confession have you said the same thing, seemingly again and again? How many times have we tried to practice this virtue or, or that virtue? You see, the, the truth is that we've been told again and again, What's holding us back? That's really what Jesus is asking the people who listen to him in the gospel today. What is it that's holding you back from believing? What is it that's holding you back today from accepting my love, my mercy? What is it that's holding you back from embracing the fullness of this truth? We need to hear Jesus offer us that challenge because there's also an answer to it. There's an answer. Whatever it is that's holding you back, just know it is nothing, nothing compared to the joy, compared to the beauty of following Christ. Whatever it is that's holding you back today, it is nothing compared to his mercy, compared to his love. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Remember, you can catch The Tangent wherever you get your favorite podcasts. You can find us on the Veritas Catholic Network app. You can follow us on the social medias. We really look forward to walking with you this great journey. God bless you.